Well, look at here. Rev 2.0 is here. Welcome. My name is Rosh, and I'm a co-host of the Creative AI Show, where we are two creative guys talking AI and Rev. It's one of my go-to AI image generators. I have found it to be a solid platform ever since it was released, and now we have 2.0. There's been a lot of conversation about other new AI image generators, such as Nano Banana. We've done a lot of videos, and we're going to be comparing this to Nano Banana and other platforms in the coming videos. But first, let's just kind of explore and see what the new Rev 2.0 can do. We will start off with a familiar prompt. Model with a blue dress and gold gloves walks down a futuristic city street. And as we can see here, it is a conversation like they have with Runway as well as Gemini Nano Banana. Here we go, nice. So we have three options, three or four. Before it was four options. I guess we just have two, okay. So we can say, let's, let's go to this one here and it all, click on it, it automatically puts it here. Change the gloves to green and remove the red car. Let's get very specific. Here we go. It's taking a little bit of time. Okay, two are similar. Like it should be, actually, I think this one is exact. Green, green. Okay, here we go. So that's what the green gloves look like. Yeah, very similar. Now let's upload. So here we can take a new photo. So if you're using mobile, that's an easy thing to do. Or if you're on your laptop, you could take a picture of yourself uh, previously attached or upload a new file, which is what we're gonna do. Here are some mid-journey images that I used in a different video for very specifically, I think, Nano Banana. So let's see what we can do. Let's start off with this cowboy here. Now I'm having trouble getting rid of this. Oh, there it is, okay, good. Up in the upper left-hand corner, in case you were having issues too. So here we go, turn the cowboy hat red and the Horse green. This is something we've had some experience with. So here's the original. I'm finding the way this is laid out a little confusing. In other words, just not as easy and intuitive all the way around, especially when things are changing, such as this scene altogether. I got rid of everything as an option. We did get what we were looking for but the additional options, I don't know. Uh, here we go. And yeah, I think the horse green, we've seen some horses that we said turn green, look like there's just a green filter over them rather than just being a green horse. And you would know that because everything would be green, such as the saddle and the front of the head. But here we go. Here's our cowboy. Is it the same? Yeah, same, so no change. That's the big deal with Nano Banana. So we have more options to look at. First of all, we can go here and we can add to an album, copy the image, rename the image, flag the image. Of course, delete here with the trash can, download, and we can edit and share. Let's look at edit in a second, but where can we share? Link copy to a clipboard, okay. So you can share this image via a link. If we click on edit, Okay, what does this do? Ah, different sections of the... Interesting there, okay, oh, okay. So there's the cowboy. Okay, gray scar, oh, it, it, oh, wow. So it actually highlights different parts. So let's say gray scarf, we can get rid of it. Do we wanna get rid of the gray scarf? Do we trash it? Let's see if that's what happens. 
Okay, didn't do it instantly. Oh, apply edits. So we can do a number of edits here. Let's see, buildings, red hat, cowboy's face, horse, let's go to horse, coiled rope. Now we'll click on edit from the middle horn is now purple. Click check. Okay, let's apply edits. So this is a different way. It's kind of like uh, Nano Banana in general. I mean, you can just prompt and say what you want, or you can go into sections in the edit mode. And here we go. So, okay, here, here's the purple rope. Um, that, that's still there, the, the, the gray shirt. The scarf was supposed to be gone too, right? I guess it didn't do that, but it did do the purple rope. Maybe that's something I didn't do properly. Or maybe when I just trashed it, I trashed it as an option rather than edit. I think that's what I did. Objects, prompts. Ah, there's the full prompt. Sync with the objects. Okay, let's go back. Disc card and exit or keep editing. We'll discard. Now let's add a few items together to see how well it does. So quite often we add three elements. So let's have a background. Okay, so we have our background, spaceman, and an apple. Spaceman is holding the apple in the, spaceman is holding the apple in the desert. See how this works. Here are three elements. That's nice to see. I do appreciate that. Then we'll get our three options. Here's our spaceman holding the apple in the desert. How does it hold up with the background? There's the, there's the desert. Yeah, looks like it's holding up. Each is a little different, is it not? Yeah, this one is missing some elements, but it's a similar. And then the spaceman. So Spaceman's a little different, it's not exact. There's some interpretation going on here, but we got our three elements together. And I am assuming if we had some more exact elements, let's just try one more. Okay, here was our campfire, our B, and we'll upload the ball. This is similar to one we did with Nano Banana. B plays with the ball by the camp fire. Again, here are our three elements. Let's take a look. So that looks like a what? That's closer. Ooh, that's even close. So this one, let's see. That, how close is this to the original? I think that's pretty close. Yeah, and then some variations. So I think what we're getting with Rev is a very close approximation. And then the AI gives you a couple other variations from what you were looking for. Now, it doesn't always come in the first photo. Sometimes it's the second photo. So you need to be aware, you need to take a look. Uh, this is interesting. We got some cracks in the ball there. So this is a completely different B, but the same style. I'm going to say that Rev probably is going to give me what I want and more because version 1.0, despite all of the recent updates to the other AIs, I still come back to Rev regularly because I think it's such a strong AI image generator. So our next steps in some of our rather soon future videos will be direct comparisons to Runway and Nano Banana and Kling. Let me know your thoughts below. And if you wanna hear more about AI for the creative, check into the Creative AI Show every Monday on this YouTube channel, as well as your favorite podcast location. I'll see you in the next video.